Welcome to beautiful Antalya and Laura Beach. So this is how it looks like Laura Beach in Antalya, Turkey. I just always want to give you raw videos as much as possible. There's quite a lot of people over here and this is only in April and it's the low season. There's dogs here, there's people, it's lovely. This is the view from the lifeguard deck. So if you're a lifeguard in Antalya, Turkey, this is what you'd expect. We have the beautiful beach over here. Uh, so this is actually one of the most famous beaches in Antalya, Turkey. And Antalya, Turkey, if you do not know, it's one of the most visited places in Turkey. That being said, it's beautiful. See, there's palm trees over there. A lot of people just chilling out, hanging out. So I want to show you a cool video in this area. Wow, so beautiful. People are just laying out here on the beach. You see, I have my jacket on because it's kind of chilly right now. It's off season, as I said, and it's around, I want to say like 59 degrees Fahrenheit, which is around 16 Celsius. Ah, oh, man. This is the beach. So we're going to just travel around the beach a little bit. I'm going to explore this area. I'm going to go right a little bit and then go left and show you guys a little bit around this beach. And then later on, we can get something to eat. This is really nice. So let me go down here real quick. Let's see, I took a ladder over here, this green ladder. So I'll take this ladder and let's explore some more of this area. This, but as you guys always know, please hit the like button and subscribe. This is the first video you're watching of mine. My name is Solo and welcome to another Traveling Solo Log. I just want to show you how Laura Beach looks like in Antalya. Okay, how are we going to get down? We got to climb down. Let's go. How am I going to do this? One hand going down a ladder. I can do it, no problem. <laughs> oh, almost tripped. All right, this is how it looks like. So let's explore the beach. It's a little bit different of my other videos, but we're just going to record it. And sorry for the wind. It's a little bit windy here, but what can you do? It's a beach. And you can see over here, someone is paragliding, I believe. No, not paragliding. They're attached to the boat. I don't exactly what it's called. The guy was actually telling me just over there that you could rent jet skis and so many things to do over here, but he said it's off season, so all the companies are not operating right now. It's beautiful. Hi. So I believe this is a hotel resort. Well, it is a hotel resort. This is right here, Club Hotel seaside so we're just going to show you guys how it is this is a more crowded area of the beach the beach is a little bit dead right now because of coronavirus and obviously it's off season yes yeah the hotel but I'm, I'm just seeing my friend nice nice okay okay no problem well, I guess he's not letting me to enter the hotel area. Well, it's fine. The seaside? Yeah, okay, yeah, I'll go there. Yeah. So beautiful. A lot of uh, people over here. This is actually a nice hotel, but unfortunately I can't show you the whole hotel because the guy is just watching me right now behind me he's watching but this is this is how it is you grab a seat and just chill out the hotel but if you don't want to chill out the hotel no problem we're still in the beach but i just thought this was a nice area to show you which is a nice area So over there, there's a restaurant where we're going to go to later. So where my hotel is, is actually 10 minutes away from here. So it's not that far too. And I'll show you exactly where I'm at. I'll put it in the description down below. And also if you want to come to my hotel, it's a nice hotel. It's called the Holiday Inn, which is a four star hotel over here. So it's very beautiful. But I was like, we have to go to the beach today. 
because it's one of my last days here and check it out so let's continue on and see what we find over here what's cool about the sand it's a little bit like if you see it the grains are a little bit different than other beaches that I've been to like here let's go straight ahead you'll see what I'm saying it's like more rocky or less refined here like look at this this part of the sand it's still soft believe it or not but it's more like rocky which I never been to a beach where it's like so rocky like this Wow, I'm enjoying the day. It's a little bit chilly, I got my jacket on. I just got my shoes on. Usually I would not be wearing full gear on a beach, but it's a little bit chilly, so I was like, why not? And over on my right side, there's mountains. I hope this picture is giving you justification. There's a lot of mountains, clouds, so nice. Hi doggy. Let's see if this dog. It's okay. Oh, you see this doggy likes pets. He's chill. And you see this uh, green thing on his ear? That's to show that he's a public dog, so he is not owned by anyone. Because in Turkey, they take care of the animals and they label the animals too with these either green or sometimes it's orange things on their ears just to show that he's a public dog he is taken care of you can see he's he's well nourished but a lot of the dogs just like to lay out on the beach which isn't a bad idea doggy okay nice black and white dog And then something else you do at the beach, if you just walk away, let me walk more on the coastal line of the beach and show you, you can have a barbecue. So right in front of me, well, here, let's, let's go talk about the walkway real quick. So the walkway over here is very long. I want to say like one or two kilometers. There are some people that rent bikes over here, which is nice and beautiful. Or if you don't want to rent bikes, you want to chill with the family, just have a nice barbecue. Let me show you this barbecue area. Which I love is just to show you guys the raw footage. Because sometimes I don't know what to say because I never explored the area, but I've explored this area a little bit. So, which is great. So I can give you more information about this area in particular, Laura Beach. See, there's a little doggy over here. We're having a nice barbecue. There's a lot of barbecue areas you can go here for free, which is awesome. The local government provides you with a barbecue pit and some benches. Let me just show you, for example. So over here is a nice barbecue pit. So you can bring your own food, bring some charcoal, make your own barbecue. You guys can sit over here, sit over there. There's a lot of places here you can sit at. And they have public restrooms here, which is nice because sometimes in Turkey, unfortunately, it's hard to find public restrooms, but they got you covered over here. Some people are pitching tents over here. It's a really nice area to be here during the day. Other than Istanbul, this is the number two city to visit in Turkey, which I, I don't know. I'm kind of loving this city a little bit more than Istanbul. I know guys, I've made a lot of videos in Istanbul, but the reason why I like this city more is just because there's a beach. There's not just this beach, there's like a few beaches actually in the city. So beautiful. Yeah, I'm gonna eat right here at the Buzz Beach Restaurants and Cafe. Uh, excuse me, I wanna, I wanna eat at the restaurant. Do I sit down? Stand over there? All right, thank you. Yes. Okay, let's eat. Before I do, since I just pet the dog, I don't know if my hands are so clean. There we go. It's a little footstep that you get some 
hand wash. Here, let's sit right over here. It's pretty empty. Restaurant. Yeah. Can I get the menu? Okay. So I just asked for the menu. Let's see. So they, this is the menu over here they have. Carlsberg, Tuberg. So this is all a drink menu, but I want to eat something. Want to eat something? This is for eating. Right now, do you have the uh, kabati? Kabati breakfast. Right now, you have or no? I have it. Yeah. All right, let me go with the Turkish breakfast. Uh, two, two. Okay, kabati. One. No. Yeah, one. Three. Uh, tea. Tea. Thank you. Awesome, so my Turkish breakfast just arrived. So this is a typical Turkish breakfast. Has the olives, has the tomatoes, some vegetables, you know, has some cucumbers, some other vegetables over here, french fries, got a little, you know, we got some little sausage over here, some also yummy thing over here, some delicious. We got bread. Can't go wrong with some Turkish tea. Every Turkish breakfast, you must have a tea. I believe this is feta cheese. Let me just use my hands. Don't worry, I wash my hands, so it's okay. Mm, yeah, it's feta. Another kind of cheese, I'm not sure. If you have three types of cheeses, bread, always Turkish breakfast must have bread, tea, and olives. That's like a, and also cheese, that's authentic. I have the egg over here too as well. Let's dig in and see how it is. So the french fries, the guy said he's gonna give me some ketchup and some spicy sauce so I'm dip the french fries into it. This is actually a Turkish breakfast, but it's around brunch time. If you don't know what brunch is, it's between lunch and breakfast. We call it brunch. It's uh, so good. Thank you. Got the ketchup here. Mix some spicy with the ketchup. Some spicy sauce. Interesting. Here's the bread, and the bread is baked fresh daily. So I can get some old, like soggy bread. Nice and fresh bread. Let me get, grab an olive. You can see they put some seasonings on the olives as well. So good. I guess I gotta take out my sunglasses. It's a little bit sunny, but why not? You can see me without the sunglasses. Oops. See me got the sunglasses for a part of the video. And all this was for 40 Turkish liras. 40 Turkish liras, I'll put the price on the screen somewhere over here or there, which is about $6 USD. Let me eat some of the sausage. It's more like a hot dog. Can't go wrong with like a, I believe they barbecued the hot dog or fried. I'm not quite sure, but it's delicious. oh, actually, they have this too. It's pastry. It's called borek, which is a famous pastry in Turkey. Just bite inside and see what it is. Probably cheese. Cheese and some meat. So it's some fried uh, pastry cheese and I believe it has some of this bologna, honestly. And by the way, all this food is halal, so just so you know, there's no ham, no pork. So let me know what you guys think about the breakfast. So I'm about to dig in more of this breakfast. Let me grab a 
What is this? I don't even know what this vegetable is called. Whatever, it's delicious. So I'm about to eat more of this breakfast and I'll let you know how it is. That being said, let me drink the tea real quick. There's supposed to be some sugar, but I guess I'll have it without sugar right now. Proper Turkish tea. I actually like tea with my milk, just like British people. Actually, there is sugar. Drop some sugar in here. So this is what you get for like 40 Turkish liras, which is about like $5, $6. Traditional Turkish breakfast. So don't tell me I didn't show you a traditional Turkish breakfast. So as always, hit that like button. It's pretty much the beach. So I, I may show you a little bit more, but yeah, so I'm just gonna finish this and then I'll finish the log somewhere else. So catch you the next shot, peace. Okay, everyone, so this is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I know I did. I love showing you another place in Antalya, Turkey and another place in the world. So if you ever do come to Turkey, come to Antalya, come to Laura Beach. I don't know if Solo brought you here, which I'm sure they don't know me, but that being said, just check it out one last time. Beautiful beach. Here's the sand, got the water, got the mountains, clouds, sunny day outside. What more could you ask for? Delicious restaurant just right over there, reasonable prices. Some place where you could barbecue over here. So yeah, I'm just, uh, as always, happy to see you again. Please hit that like button, also subscribe if this is the first video you're watching of mine. You know, I really appreciate it from my heart. I just love showing you guys different areas. So let's head towards my hotel and I'll show you how my hotel is. So if you ever do come to Antalya, as I said, more than welcome to come to this hotel and, it's a nice place, so let's go and check it out.